Right, so working out uh, compass headings, magnetic headings and true headings, uh, you'll be given some figures. So you'll be given maybe just one compass, magnetic or true heading, but you will have to be given the variation and the deviation, especially if we're going to do uh, mag to true and compass as well. You need the deviation to go from mag to compass, you need the variation to go from magnetic to true or vice versa. So obviously what we're talking about using is we're talking about using Cadbury's Dairy Milk, very tasty. Compass, deviation, magnetic, variation and true. Cadbury's Dairy Milk, very tasty. So let's say for argument's sake that the compass was reading uh, 185 degrees. Okay. And they want the true heading. So say, what's the true heading over here? Now they're going to have to give you the deviation and the variation. So you might, for instance, get that the deviation is two degrees east. And the variation is uh, 11 degrees west, let's say. Now don't forget that um, if it's east, they might say that the, the deviation is plus two. They might say that the variation is, in this case, minus 11. Um, because what they can say, of course, is that you know, if this is the zero deviation mark, then on the right-hand side, the um, east side, that's going to be plus, if you were thinking in terms of a graph. And um, on this side, it's going to be minus, which is west. Okay, So that's where that comes from. Um, it's rare to be given plus 2 or minus 11. Normally, they would give you east and west. Okay. So, of course, what we need to do now is I'm just going to um, get that. There we go. Go away. Nice little message there. Doesn't work on my pen. So, um, to go from, in this case, compass to deviation, first of all, I know that deviation is east, so I'm going to put a um, nice little arrow in to the east. And on the west one, I know that uh, that's west, so I'm going to put an arrow pointing to the west. Now, don't forget that the arrow will always point to the bigger number. So if I'm going from 185 to magnetic in from compass, then my 2 degrees east uh, figure means that my 185 is now going to become 187 magnetic. Okay, so that's 187 degrees magnetic. Excellent. So I've now got my magnetic heading, but what I don't know yet is my true heading. Now, if you look at this arrow, you can see that the one underneath vary or variation is uh, 11 degrees west, so that's pointing to the west, and that means that it's pointing to the bigger number. So 187, yeah, I need to take minus 11 off, and then that will give me my true heading, which of course is going to be, what's that, 176. So my true heading is 176 degrees. Okay, nice and easy. Now, of course, they could go the other way. They could say, um, here's a true heading that we want. Um, what is your... Um, compass going to indicate because that's what you're going to follow. So if I get rid of this, I'll leave the um, I'll leave the variations and uh, deviation as they are, and I'm just going to change the true heading to um, well, let's, let's think of a, of a figure we want, might want to fly on. Let's say we're going to fly on zero four five. So I'm going to put in. 045 over here. That's my true heading that I want, so I need to know what my compass is going to read. So the first thing I do, is, of course, is it's 11 degrees west variation. So this time, I'm going to add 11 degrees because it's pointing to magnetic, which means that magnetic is going to be the bigger number. So 045 plus 11 is going to be 055, uh, 056, sorry. So that's my magnetic heading. And I can see from my deviation, now because it's a different heading, the deviation figure might be different, 
just go with what you're given. That's all you need to do. Okay. So in this case, I've still got two degrees east. So that's the bigger number by two degrees. So if I come over to my compass, it's going to be two degrees less than 0 0.56, which is 0 0.54. And that's it. So for a true heading, where we are on the planet with 11 degrees variation, for a true heading of 0 0.45, I would need to follow 054 on my compass, uh, which allows for the two degrees east variation uh, deviation as well between the compass and the magnetic heading. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeeze it.